and so the waitress would, would shout the order to me. This is the urban legend behind the waffle Urban legends? I don't know if it's true or not. I really don't. But they would shout the orders to them, but it became like it caught on. <clears throat> but they're a privately owned corporation, and the only way to own stock in the Waffle House is to work at the Waffle House. In fact, when I'm reviewing this, it's probably going to get me in trouble. Anyway, I like this place. I became 10 years, I spent my life here, and I wrote a lot of poetry in the corner booth, and a lot of, I wrote a lot of bad poetry, really bad, stinky Waffle House poetry. I think if I won the lottery, I think if I had Mega Millions and won like $5 million, I think I would still come in here in the middle of the night and drink coffee. I would too, Nathan. But I would be pimping, bitches. I'd be drinking. <laughs> have gold on, like pimping. Whatever. Shit, Just blast. pull your car up out front. Like it came with a diamond on it. Ride with the, ride with the WF. Ride come with it. Got my own cup. Pour it in. We're just talking. That's all the Waffle House talk is about. Just talking. Would you like to talk to somebody? I would like to, but I'm kind of frightened. Let's I don't see. have the balls. I'll try to have the guts. I don't know if this means we'll have to leave quickly, but here goes. I'm going to try to make. One, I'm going to try to make contact with the waitress. She's a big black woman. This could get scary, but here we go. Somebody just pulled up. We have any questions? This is exciting. This is the, this is the exciting form of the Waffle House. Ten thirty-eight on a Wednesday night.